Hey folks, so me again, and I don't have a Factory 5 build going on, but one's in the works. So, as you know, Factory 5 has that new uh, pre-runner truck. Uh, they did debuted at uh, SEMA, and it's based on the uh, F-150 as the donor vehicle, and I just happen to have one. Um, however, the one I have is, is my tow vehicle, and I've done quite a bit of work to it. Um, it's an STX truck uh, that I've strapped a 2.9 liter Whipple 5 liter two wheel drive to. Um, and the pre runner truck is more of, you know, uh, you know, an off road type of truck. Um, so it kind of deserves a four wheel, uh, four wheel drive. So, and I've got my truck completely lowered and it does tow, uh, tows quite well. Um, I'm averaging around 18 miles to the gallon with the Whipple uh, on the 5 liter. It's a 2017. Again, it's an STX. So I got together with my buddy Wayne. Thanks, brother. Uh, and we had a discussion on whether to use that as a donor. The truck is so nice um, that I think, well, I know, we're going to end up selling that one and just starting a new on a new one. Um, so I got a really good deal on a 2018 XLT with the technology package, and I'll show that to you here in a second. Um, so the idea is to use that one as a, the donor, um, and let me flip this around, and we'll kind of narrate in the background here. So as you know, I've got this, uh, I think it's almost five years old now, geez, but it's a the, the Gen 3 uh, coupe, and it's twin turbo, you know, making around 805 uh, on pump gas at the crank, just over 700 uh, at the wheels. Uh, and it and I drive it quite a bit, and it's got all the AC, you know, heat, heated seats, and all of that stuff. But I thought it would be pretty trick to um, to actually pull a factory five with a factory five and have that be, you know, I guess the I'm going to say the the final stage of of uh, the the journey, although I, I don't I'm you know I don't think that that'll be the case if anybody knows me. Um, so anyway, let me show you what we got. Uh, I've got a fleet a, a fleet of two F one fifties now. So let me start you off with what I've been using. So this is an STX truck that I have labeled as a Lightning. We have it uh, four six drop. Uh, and it's a it's a quad cab. A um, couple things I don't like about the truck. It is an STX, so it really doesn't have all of the bells and whistles, right? So if you're going to drive around in it, you know, whatever. But it's got the you know it's got the big screen uh, and everything in it. But it's got the columns shifter, and I feel like on a sport truck, you kind of want you know the console. Um, you know, it's got cloth seats. Uh, the uh, uh, the XLT that I bought also has cloth, but uh, I'm going to end up covering those. Um, and I mean, it's in good shape. It's got right at 90,000 miles. Uh, like I said, and I've had the Whipple on it about 40,000. Um, and, you know, the, the motor is pretty clean, you know, so it, it wouldn't be a stretch um, to just pick this one up. I think it's right around also 600, uh, 600 horsepower. It's a uh, let's see what the it's got the you know the stock pulley at 3.8 uh but it pulls fine and the whipple makes up for the the low end torque that the coyote doesn't have for tuning so that works really really well um at, like i said i've had it on about 40,000 miles has it hasn't missed a beat all right so what i did yesterday is i bought an XLT here it is. Let me get on the other side. And it's that gloss gray. Like. And I got to thinking when I saw it that that would be kind of cool to pull the Daytona with. Because I was going to paint it. You know, I was thinking about painting a red or a blue or something like that. But I got to thinking I'm, I'm, I'm thinking this is probably I save a bit of money and just not paint the cab. And then so you're tracking what we're what we do with this kit is you just lift the cab off 
And then Factory 5 provides a full tubular chassis suspension, uh, you know, all of that stuff. And, I, uh, you know, the bed, the, the front grill, the, the fenders, and it's super wide. Uh, I'll, I'll post a picture uh, in the video here in a minute. Um, but this thing is in really good shape. Uh, even, you know, the, it's even got bed liner in it, tonneau cover, none of that stuff I'm going to be able to keep, I don't think. Um, it's got the power inverter in it. It's got, you know, keyless entry. Uh, it's got all the stuff. The only thing it doesn't really have is the sunroof, but, you know, and I just spent the, the morning cleaning it, but it's, it's even got the shifter, heated seats. You know, it's it's in it's in awesome shape. Uh, it's got 127,000 miles. Oop, it'll unlock the rest of it. I mean, it's even got like little carbon fiber. You know, it needs a buff, obviously. But I mean, I cleaned all the back vacuum, shampoo. You know, had the guy had kids and stuff, and uh, I think I think they may have got sick in it, but that's fine. It smells good now. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's in really, really, really good shape. So, so now now you're gonna be asking, well, you had a Whipple in the other one, and it's a, you know, that was 600 horsepower, and the Daytona, you know, is right around 800. So what are we gonna do on this one? So what I ended up doing is I went and bought a sleeved Coyote block, uh, which should be here in about six weeks. Um, and that has I beam, uh, all of our rods, I beam, uh, rods in it. And I, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to aim for four numbers. So this will be a, uh, thousand horsepower on E85, you know, running 17 to 20 pounds of boost, something like that. Much like the hot rod brothers, uh, truck at SEMA in the K N booth. Um, I'm not going to go for, you know, much more than a thousand probably right at a thousand and then we'll turn it back down to about 12 psi and let it sit you know and live basically like the coyote that i have in the daytona and we'll just tow around with that it'll be twin turbo uh haven't decided on the kit yet i'm right between an on three kit and turbo uh was it the the hellion kit the hellion kit that i saw has the turbos hidden and uh underneath the um uh by the transmission low mount. Um, I'd prefer them up higher, so I'll talk to them, see if they make a kit. I'd prefer to get it a Hellion kit. I think that comes with a start tune anyway. I don't know that the On3 does, but my brother Wayne will, either way, it's it's going to house a power down there with very cool parts and it'll get the all the loving on the, on the dyno. Um, hopefully uh, it all works out. And along with that, I've got in my mind uh, so that you're, tracking the kit suspension um, um, it comes with ba much like their other kits it has you know the the street height if you will or in this case race height which is higher and it actually has a street low setting it's two inches lower so much like the um, the STX truck I did a four six drop on this and you know I I'm not a big lifted truck guy. I'm also not tall. I'm only 5'6", so I don't like jumping in and out of the the truck as much. And I kind of like the, the performance, uh, you know, truck look. So what we're going to end up doing is uh, we'll end up dropping. We're going to run the lower setting on that uh, pre-runner truck. Get some wide wheels, and uh, I th it'll. I think it'll look okay. Uh, we're gonna play around with uh, some different tires and whatnot, um, and see see how that all looks. I'll probably get a couple used tires and a couple rims, uh, rim sizes, uh, probably from junkyard or some takeoffs. 
Uh, but I need to run 36s or 37s, 36 and a half, something like that. Um, and I'll, I'll probably drop it. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to go as low as the red truck, but it'll be lower than the SEMA truck that was uh, in the booth in Factory 5 uh, this year. Um, with nice, nice wide tires and uh, more of a street tread, less of a, um, what do you call it, a alter or dirt, you know, desert dune, you know, dune jumping or Baja type thing. Because at the end of the day, I need to be able to tow with the truck, and I want to prove that you can, and uh, and that way, you know, it'll be a very flexible vehicle, um, and you know, it should should work out pretty good. I'm kind of excited to to get going. So. Timeline wise, you're not going to see too many updates. Uh, we've got about six weeks before the block gets here. I believe the kit will get here sometime in, in January, uh, hoping uh, maybe, you know, early February. And uh, yeah, so stay tuned. Um, I don't expect this build to take very long either, uh, based on what I'm, I'm hearing from Jim and Mark Doherty. Uh, the way the the F-150 cab comes off and how much you re you basically retain all of the drivetrain, um, the the changeover won't take that long. Again, the longest part will be the paint, and I already have that once again pre-coordinated with the painter. Um, he's standing by. Um, I think the longest pole or longest system that will will take is to swap the uh, Coyote heads over cam timing you know, all the timing chain because i gotta make a, a you know change a short block into a long block and then i'll probably get the transmission uh gone through because again the truck has 127,000 miles on it front wheel bearings were just changed so uh i don't have to worry about that and i'll go ahead and change all the fluids and inspect everything but uh stay tuned so thousand power a thousand horsepower uh pre-runner truck uh yeah I'm <laughs> looking forward to it. So uh, stay tuned. See ya.